I did a video on um, telep telepathy with humans and the groups that are going to be formed and the interactions that you'll find with other people. Now let's talk a little bit about animals because you'll do the same thing with animals. And most people have had a familiar like a relationship with an animal. If you're an animal lover, you probably have had a familiar, you just didn't know it. So you can do the same thing with animals, and for some people this will be easier than trying to start those groups with humans. Because a lot of star seeds are really jumpy around humans, not as jumpy around animals. Even though most pet animals have more human traits than wild animals, so there's certainly the things that a starseed doesn't like about humans are more prevalent in pets than wild animals, but they will still feel safer to you. So you could do the same thing that I said to do with the humans. As you're interacting with your pets or other people's pets, animals out on the planet, you will instinctually get a knowingness of what they're saying or feeling. If you would like to promote this, you need to stop, take a moment, and give credit to that moment and say, I get this. I just got that. I just got a message from you, little puppy dog, that um, you want to go outside. Not because they went and scratched on the door. This is before any signs that you could know. This is just you know it. At which point you say, I got the message. I want to continue this kind of conversation. I want this, this interaction to continue. So you go and open the door and send love. In that moment, you probably should pay attention because there will probably be a feeling very much like thank you from the animal. Eventually, you can do this with animals that connect with other animals so that you can get a group of animals around like go to a dog park get real good at it with your dog then go to the dog park the dog will interact with the other dogs which you can do as well you can do it that way you can also go to uh, take your pet go to a zoo if you don't have a pet go to a zoo let me assure you every animal that is in a circus in a zoo in an aquarium they agree to that so, of course, e even if they're under difficult circumstances, they are creator gods, they know what they're doing. Um, you can go to these facilities, especially a zoo, a well-done zoo, and you can go there and you can walk around and have those same kind of experiences. Um, you will probably, if you're a cat person, uh, go to the big cats. If you're a dog person, go to the elephants, um, any of the hooved animals. Um, if you're not a cat or a dog person, uh, try the birds. And if, cat, if that doesn't work, try the uh, monkeys. And then you can also try the reptiles. One of those groups, as you walk around a good-sized zoo, you will have an, an, an interaction with. So whatever it is that you have an interaction with that you get triggered by, go back and continue those conversations. Again, do not think your way out of it. Don't say things like, well, I made that up. That's wishful thinking. Because in that moment, you will go to timelines where you're right. You didn't connect with the being. Uh, you, it, it was all made up and you will not have connected with anything. When you have those, that reaction, that connection, then what you do immediately is stop, honor that connection, say, I hear you, I want this to continue, and uh, continue to feel your way, knowing that you have the option of it being fake or it being real. You're the one that decides which side of that you're going to be on, because you will choose the, ti the timelines about where that goes. Okay? Alrighty then. And uh, that's that on this one. I'll talk to you guys later. Huge hugs. Bye now.